Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure a cluster cloud witness in Microsoft Azure. When I talk about a cluster cloud witness, I'm talking about the um, cluster that you have created in Microsoft Azure. And uh, especially if you have created the cluster that is two nodes cluster um, and uh, you don't have a shared storage, it is always a good idea to go ahead and configure your um, uh, quorum um, as a as a cloud witness because that has one vote in two node cluster especially uh, if you don't have shared storage if one node goes down your cluster uh, pretty much uh, can go down because it doesn't have enough votes to come online so it is always a good idea to um, uh, configure your your quorum and have one vote so that your cluster will be always up so these are the High level steps right here. What exactly do you need in order to configure a cluster cloud witness in Microsoft Azure? First, you need to get Azure subscription storage account name, which I'll show you in a second. And again, uh, the second one, get Azure subscription storage access key. Uh, and I will show you that in a second. Some folks uh, will run into an issue of the key is not valid issue uh, or um, an, an error occurred right here while validating access to your um, uh, Azure from cluster node. This pretty much is straightforward that you don't, your your cluster node doesn't have uh, permission to go and uh, connect with uh, your Azure account. Uh, and I'll show you that what could be the reason, but sometimes even once that's there, your Azure, your Azure subscription needs to come into your, um, cluster node and update that and sometimes that is more of an issue even though it, it validated the access key but it cannot update the access key on your cluster so uh, let me show you my cluster configuration right now this is my cluster right here and i wanted to configure a cloud witness so if i right click on that and go to more action actions right here and click on configure cluster quorum setting. You have different ways to set up your uh, 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 quorum right here. Default quorum means no quorum really. And select the quorum witness. If you select that or advance, it's the same thing. If you click next and we have different options. Configure a disk witness. You can create a disk um, on your Azure account and present that uh, as a shared disk but uh, that is a little bit more costly than configuring your cloud witness which will uh, serve the same purpose you can uh, have a file share um, if you have a file share server you can create um, a file share and configure that as a as as your um, quorum witness but um, uh, that needs to be the server that is highly available so configure a cloud witness this is the option we're going to choose and click next and now it's asking us that uh, Azure storage account name and Azure storage account key and then account service endpoints. Sometimes the endpoints could be different. Right now, this is just the Azure and it's core.windows.net and that's the uh, Azure service endpoint. But uh, if you're working in a government uh, Azure space, it would be uh, government.windows.net or whatever the Azure endpoints is. You have to know that. In uh, the your cluster will show you that uh, this is the default, but if... Uh, um, So you need to put your uh, Azure service endpoints uh, uh, up here as well, but this is the default. And yes, I am in Azure just using the default uh, Azure service endpoints. So I will leave that as a core.windows.net. So let me show you my Azure information. Right here is my Azure subscription. If I go in my storage account, how to get the, the, the key and how to get the storage account if i click on storage accounts you can have multiple accounts but you want to make sure that uh, your um, your uh, cloud witness is one of those accounts storage accounts that's mostly available for me i have two storage accounts tbs uh, um, uh, ag rg uh, diag and right here there's another one and this is the sql one um, i am going to use this storage account to uh, configure my witness so if i click on that and if i click on access keys in settings right here this is the information what i need 
So this is my storage account and this is the key right here that um, you need. You can copy from here or you can click on the button where it says copy uh, and uh, copy this information. But first, let's use this the account name and bring our cluster. We're going to put the account name and then we're going to go back to our Azure and this is our key so you can control C that or you can just uh, uh, copy uh, from that little um, icon which is not shown right now because of the screen but uh, you can copy this this is the same thing so I'll just go and put that Azure key right here and I have reproduced that issue that uh, you know why uh, your key is not being validated so if I click next this is what's just showing you that this is your cloud witness account name and nodes are configured to have quorum votes. So click next and you will see that you will run into error and I'll show you in a second that why you will run into error. So um, let's talk about that why you would run into validating uh, access to uh, Azure or access key is not valid. This kind of uh, uh, issues because your firewall is on on your uh, node that where the, the cluster core uh, uh, services are running. Uh, your cluster core services are right here. In my case, it's running on TBS SQL 01. So what I will do, I'll take a look on the firewall and see if it's uh, enabled or not allowing me to go and and talk to Azure. So this is my firewall. Right here is my my firewall is on. Uh, we need to look into the outbound rules. So what I did just to reproduce this issue, I have actually blocked 443. You have to open your port 443 in order to talk to your your uh, azure account so if i if if i'll show you the properties right here that uh, it's enabled and scope i'll show you ip address um, i'm going to show you real quick the ports right right there tcp ip uh, tcp port 443 i'm blocking it uh, and it is intentional, even though my 443 is open actually to talk to my Azure, but I couldn't reproduce this issue. But a lot of a lot of folks are facing this issue because uh, of different subnets or whatever the case may be. But 443 is the main issue. You have to open this port in inbound rules and outbound rules uh, in order for us to be successfully configure our um, uh, witness on the cloud. So we'll cancel that. What I'm going to do is just delete this rule. You have an option that you go on new rule and click on port and 443 and click next and allow the connections. And that's all you have to do. And you should be able to configure your witness. So let's go back to our server and try to do that again. Right click on the cluster, more actions, configure quorum setting, next, and select witness quorum, and we're going to select the cloud witness. Now, let me go back to my subscription and get that information. This is my account name, and I will put that there. And then I'll go back again and copy the information, the key, the first key and paste it here and click next and click next it should be see it's it's good to go and click finish and you will have the cloud witness right here the advantage of having uh, a quorum witness is that if one of your nodes go down especially in my case i have just two nodes so if one of the node goes down and i don't have any shared disk so it it, it is right now the node majority so if uh, this will go down, my cluster uh, might go down and I have to force start the cluster. But um, I wanted to quickly show you that how to uh, configure the cloud witness. It is always a good idea to, to, to configure cloud witness in uh, Microsoft Azure. And I really hope this helps.